The Selection Brush tool is great for compositing and masking workflows because it enables you to quickly make accurate selections. Here's how to use it. Let's take a straightforward example with this landscape image, where we might want to isolate an adjustment layer or a live filter layer to the foreground or even the background sky detail. Now before we try and make a selection, across on the Layers panel, you just need to be aware that if you are working with multiple layers, like I am here, you need to select the relevant layer that you are trying to make a selection from. So in this case, it would be the background pixel layer, which contains the image content. With the correct layer selected, let's choose the Selection Brush tool from the Tools panel here. And I've got quite a small brush by default. So to increase this, I can use the right square bracket key on my keyboard. And also, before trying to make a selection, on the Context Toolbar, I'm going to enable Soft Edges. Now, I recommend enabling this option for the majority of image content because it will produce a soft anti-aliased edge to your selection. So let's try and select the sky. All we need to do is just single click and drag on the left mouse button to very quickly create a selection of the sky. Then we release the mouse button to commit the selection. With the sky selected, we could, for example, add an adjustment layer. Let's go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, and Brightness and Contrast. OK, as we can see on the thumbnail here, that adjustment is now masked to the selection we've just made. And indeed, if we start manipulating these adjustment sliders, so I might bring the contrast right up, for example, and the brightness down, you can see the effect is isolated to the sky. By the way, we can also get rid of the marquee or the marching ants here by using deselect. If we go to select and deselect, we'll see there is a keyboard shortcut for that. On Mac, it is Command D, and on Windows, it is Control D. So I'll use Command D to get rid of that selection. Now let's say we wanted to isolate an adjustment to the foreground. Well, again, like we did before, we just need to make sure we click and select the relevant pixel layer then I still have my Selection Brush tool active, so I can just quickly click-drag into the foreground here to select it, then release the mouse button. Now this time I might add an HSL adjustment, so I can go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, and HSL. Again, I'll use Command-D to deselect, and then I might just desaturate the foreground slightly by just bringing the saturation shift slider down to around minus 30%. And that is a basic example of how you can use the Selection Brush tool to quickly make selections and then create masks from them. But I will just explore the Soft Edges option in a bit more detail as well. So let me close this dialog down and I'll move to another document here. My intention here is to demonstrate the difference that Soft Edges makes when you create a selection. Before I do anything else then, I will duplicate this pixel layer so we can create two copies and compare them. To duplicate, you can either go to Layer and Duplicate, or you can use the keyboard shortcut. So on Mac, that is Command-J, and on Windows, Control-J. Let's hide this duplicated layer and select the initial copy. Then I will select the Selection Brush tool, and to begin with, I will disable Soft Edges and I will just click drag into the mountain here to create a selection of it. Also, here's a great little tip. When you are trying to make selections against high contrast backgrounds, like for example this pure white, it can sometimes be difficult to see what is actually being selected. You can enable the quick mask option up here, and this will give the background a red overlay, so you will only see the areas that are currently being selected show through. You can also use Q on the keyboard to quickly toggle this. OK, so with my selection active, I will create a mask layer using this option down here. Now I'm going to deselect, again using Command D on Mac, Control D on Windows, and I'm going to select the duplicated background pixel layer and enable it. Now this time I'm going to make the same selection, but with soft edges enabled. So I will click drag into the mountain like so. 
Now notice with soft edges enabled, when I release the mouse button, there is a tiny pause in the animation of the marquee or the marching ants. And what's happening here is that when you release the mouse button, all of the edges are being anti-aliased. So if I create a mask layer with this selection, what I can now do is deselect using Command D, and I can Alt or Option click on the thumbnail of either of these background layers to isolate them. So let's zoom in, and I will Alt or Option click on the first background layer to isolate it. In fact, let's zoom in even further so we can really get a detailed analysis of what's going on here. And I'll also select the View tool to get rid of my brush cursor. So now, if I Alt or Option click to isolate the second background pixel layer, this is the version that has anti-aliased edges, and you can see the edges are so much smoother. Let's compare, so once again I will isolate the first background pixel layer, so this is without soft edges, and here's the second version with soft edges. So for the vast majority of image editing and compositing workflows, you will want to have soft edges enabled. Essentially, it's a great time saver because it prevents you from having to go into selection refinement to get softer edge detail. And it's advantageous whether you are just isolating areas in photographs or whether you are doing some more advanced compositing and trying to cut out areas or subjects from an image. So there we go, that was a quick look at the Selection Brush tool and the advantages of enabling its Soft Edges feature. Hope you found it useful and thank you for watching.